This is Paul Turner, the Immigration Barrister at Imperium Chambers. Thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe to my channel and if you have an immigration problem, please get in touch with me and I'll do my level best to help you. Or if you just have a general query, just do get, drop us a line. Uh, today's video is going to focus on the Home Office's failure to help those who have effectively fled uh, uh, Hong Kong following the Chinese government's new laws, um, all of which uh, I've reported on before. In particular, I'm going to focus uh, on the Hong Kongers who fled the United Kingdom, who have been uh, denied or, or, or criticised the lack of mental health support. Uh, it's a particular topic, but one that is quite important and worth reporting on. Uh, the background to this is following China's introduction of an expansive national security law on Hong Kong uh, and the suppression of that tens of thousands of residents with British national overseas uh, BNO passports and their dependents, um, the government decided that they were given the right to live and work in the United Kingdom in 2021. Um, however, the UK government has been criticised and objections have been raised that the UK government is not doing enough to provide mental health support to thousands of Hong Kongers who have essentially had to flee uh, China's increasingly authoritarian grip on Hong Kong. Uh, after participating, apparently, in pro-democracy uh, protests, uh, a Hong Konger applied for a BNO visa as soon as the scheme was launched. Common sense would dictate that that's a, a good thing to do. There is a presumption, of course, that those arriving in the United Kingdom from Hong Kong uh, are prosperous and have not been traumatised by their experiences. This is a presumption only. However, almost a full year later, he still fears being targeted under China's national security law. He is awaiting a post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, um, diagnosis and assessment with the NHS, and has been told there will be a two-year waiting period for treatment due to the pandemic. The, the, the current scheme is available only to BNO passport holders who were born before 1997. However, um, uh, following the Chinese law, uh, change in the law, um, the government plans to expand the scheme in October to cover Hong Kongers aged between 18 and 24, who essentially were at the heart of the, 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 the protest that we all saw on the television. Sam Goodman, uh, the Director of Policy and Advocacy at the human rights NGO Hong Kong Watch, said that because Hong Kongers were treated as an economic class rather than frontline human rights defenders with complicated mental health issues, the government did not feel uh, obliged to offer uh, appropriate mental health services. Um, given that, that, that they were granted the, the, the right to come and live in the United Kingdom because of the problems with Hong Kong, this might seem a bit strange. To me, it seems only fair that the government ensures that all people have the, the, the right mental health support so that a particular people come into the United Kingdom in order that they can get on with uh, settling down, getting jobs, get, uh, contribute to the economy of the United Kingdom. Uh, it, to give you an idea of how bad it is, in, in February, the government allocated funds for 47 uh, national and local projects to help resettle the whole hires. Well, so resettling is one thing. But that doesn't deal with the complex needs, especially the mental health needs, that 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 need that that, that could be met by a, a relatively small amount of government grant or government public funding. Simon Cheng, who is a former British consulate employee and founder of Hong Kongers in Britain, said tr the true figures for people suffering from mental health issues were probably higher due to the stigma surrounding the discussion of mental health within that particular community. He said that the more needed to be done by the government to help new arrivals from Hong Kong settle into life in the United Kingdom and recover from their experiences. As I say, we all saw the pictures on the TV. Um, according to some reports in the NHS, there's still a lack of Cantonese speaking personnel, especially psychologists and mental health support, um, who can only speak, not only speak in Cantonese, but they could also be sympathetic or even show a basic understanding of, of what actually happened in Hong Kong. Uh, in fact, there was a surprising number of 19,500 BNO visa applications in the first quarter of this year, out of which uh, 18,500 were made from outside the United Kingdom. In total, looking at the scheme in the round, there's been some 120,000 applications since the immigration route opened in January last year. 
and the route is still open and i stress that the route is still open to any uh, anyone watching this uh, video uh, or subscribers who, who can uh, uh, are from hong kong or are in hong kong and they can avail themselves of this opportunity to come to the united kingdom following the government's change in heart following the draconian laws um, and hopefully um, they will uh, receive the mental health support they need and they will resettle in the United Kingdom and they will make a positive contribu contribution. This is perhaps a, a, a video which is a little bit off my normal topics, but it does highlight the importance of saying one thing which is quite grandiose, I, um, we recognise that these people should be um, not let down by the British government and can come and live here, but yet not providing them with the support and care that they really need. Thank you very much for watching this video. Do stay safe. And as I say, if you have an immigration problem, please get in touch with me and I'll do my best to help you. Thank you again. This is Paul Turner, the Immigration Barrister at Imperium Chambers.